Hey guys, Devin here from Indianapolis. Just want to make this real quick video. Um, according to recent reports coming out from Tough Mudder, West Virginia, there has been a death. Um, I did a, a uh, presentation at a communications class I did back in October of 2011. And one of the things that uh, all these um, off-road obstacle courses, the mud races, the mud events, um, that you hear about, one of the things that um, they pride themselves with is, yes, they have injuries, you know, it's not anything to be proud about, but they don't have any deaths. And while I was doing research for this, um, for the uh, presentation, I did come across a video, and it was talking with one of the owners of Tough Mudder, and they said that um, even though they have not had any deaths, that they do expect eventually that they will have. Um, even though you go in, you sign a uh, participant agreement where you waive your rights of injury or death, um, you go in there knowing, knowing that there is that chance. I remember the first uh, Tough Mudder that I did was back in November 2011 here in Indiana, and um, it was very cold, and I remember it was in um, Badlands in Attica, Indiana, and in the back side of it, back in the woods, in the trails and stuff, there was a lot of thick mud. And I recall people were jumping into this thick mud, not knowing what was underneath it. You know, the mud was only maybe two feet deep, that kind of thing. Um, but they would jump in there not knowing what was in there. It could be a tree, rocks, and or anything like that. But as we were walking along this, um, this the, the course, there would be individuals on the side, laying there with a sprained ankle, broken ankle, broken legs, things like that, because it's, they were doing stuff that was stupid. Now, I'm not saying that the individual at West Virginia did something stupid. Matter of fact, they were on the obstacle of what is called walk the plank. Um, walk the plank is a 15-foot um, high wooden plank, just like it says, a wooden plank where individuals, you climb up, and then you get on it, and you jump off into water, deep, deep, murky water. Now, one of the issues that I do have um, is usually you have some individuals up there who probably have never done this kind of thing. And when we did our last one, that was back in June of 2012, there was some young girls up there with megaphones, and they're yelling at people, as soon as you get up there, jump, 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 jump. Now, I understand the thinking of that. Once somebody gets up there, they don't want a corral of people to gather on top and maybe counteract the balance and it would just t t t t to tip over. And that would be worse than, um, you know, anything else. There's a bunch of people falling in once, falling on top of each other, the, the, the walk of plant coming down and landing on people. Um, but anyhow, they were, they were stressing people out, making them jump. Even though that um, the water below was not clear of the other individuals, they were telling people to jump. Now, that is an issue. That right there is the issue, and that, that needs to be addressed. Um, but aside from that, the, the events are safe. There are safety personnel um, within minutes. Um, there is safety personnel that was in Walk the Plank um, down in the water. I remember that. They're in, um, like, little rowboats. They had their um, safety gear on, diver gear, and they were ready to go in. They had some on shore. They are making certain individuals are getting out. So I don't think... Personally, of what I've seen, being in two Tough Mudder events, I've been in a Rebel race, and uh, now I'll be participating in a Spartan race coming up, that any agency or governing body needs to interfere and review um, what is going on with these different events. Because these different events are there to test you, test your fitness, your stamina, your your um, ability ability to conquer your fears and uh, it's just a challenge that's all it is so guys let's don't get all in an uproar and let's go out there and say hey we need somebody to interfere and then next thing we know we're going to be walking around and we might as well just be walking through a cornfield you know you're not allowed to run you got to walk and let's just walk through a cornfield and let's not make it too long let's only make it like a half mile so we know that everybody can make it so my whole point of this video, you know, my condolences go out to the the family 
of this fallen comrade. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have my Tough Mudder band right here. I'm going to take this to the Spartan race. And I'm going to leave, even though it's not a Tough Mudder event, I'm going to leave this behind. Okay, guys. That's all i got to say about this. Um, if you want to see the whole article that I wrote up about this um, tragic event that happened, um, click on the link below, and it'll take you off to my blog post. So, guys, I'm out of here. Um, let's keep this. Let's keep going forward with this. I think these challenges are awesome because they challenge the individual, and it promotes camaraderie and teamwork. And there's a lot of things out there, guys, that we don't have like that anymore. And these are awesome events. Let's keep them going. Let's don't let any government agency interfere. Once again, my condolences to the fallen comrade and his family. And this will get left behind. We'll see you. I'll see you. Bye for now.